When the Warriors come down the tunnel, it's always a sight to see. Dressed in their best as they arrive in their building earlier. Hi everyone, we're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. And they'll have some minutes to make up for with an injury in their roster. They're missing a quality player. Injury's a big part of the game. They've just got to make the adjustments. Here's the starting group for the Indiana Pacers. Siakam is out there with Neesmith. Then there's Tyrese Halliburton. Then it's Turn. And it's Nemhard in at the shooting guard position. And for Golden State, out in the perimeter, Thompson and Wiggins. Jonathan Kaminga out there with Draymond Green. And it's Curry in at the point guard position. And we know, Greg, most of the talk coming into this game focused on the front court matchup. A lot of talent in the low post here. And, you know, a lot of times that means it'll come down to the rebounding battle. Whoever controls the boards will have a big leg up in the physical and mental aspect of this game. And it's the Warriors to start out. Wiggins outside. Inside. Lets it fly. Bank shot. No good. On offense, here are the Pacers. Here's Halliburton. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on Thompson. Oh, Greg, there's a lot of impressive things about Tyrese Halliburton, most notably how efficient he is. Yeah, Kevin, those percentages are terrific. But not only that, he's phenomenal at it, making sure he keeps his teammates involved. Just a remarkable young point guard. That one is off. Hey, Clark, thinking back to that Halliburton for Sabonis trade, what are your thoughts? I think it's one of those situations where it was a win-win all the way around, Greg. You think about it. The Kings benefited, the Pacers did. Young players that have stardom in their future. And I think both players are going to be multi-time All-Stars. And he sinks the second. Greg, in terms of the Pacers' last few seasons, some have pointed to their relative lack of size. What do you think? Well, I think a big push for them this summer was adding to their front court, particularly getting more size at the forward positions. And I think they've improved in that regard. Now here's Green, five to shoot. Thompson from long range, the rebound by Turner. There's some defense for you. For someone who's as good at shooting the three ball as he is, you, you need a defender who's equally good at guarding against him. There's Siakam. Turner up top. Halliburton outside. Now the pass to Neesmith. Off target with the open look. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. Halliburton outside. Pass to Turner. Shoots over Curry. And Turner the bucket on the assist by Halliburton. Hey, Turner's not just an interior scorer. This guy has a jumper that's really reliable. So you got to honor and respect his shot. Curry, wide open, sinks the triple. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. And Siakam has got the ball here for Indiana. Pass to Turner. Halliburton with it. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Siakam passes to Turner. And it's slammed in by Turner. And the all-around game of Siakam, so adept at working the ball to open guys. Halliburton against Kerr. Puts up a deep three. 
Misses that one. He's made one and missed two this game so far. Indiana leading. Passes it to Halliburton. Here's Nemhard. He's covered by Thompson. Poke loose and stolen by Wiggins. Feeds it to Curry. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Curry's got five now. And you know, for a big man, I think Green is one of the better dime droppers in the league. I mean, he's a true point forward who has excellent vision and sees the floor well. Now, here is Halliburton. Nemhard, the pass to Siakam. Halliburton sets the pick for Siakam. And the pass to Halliburton. Cranes the three-pointer. As fast as lightning, Halliburton gets it and shoots it in a matter of nanoseconds. To the paint. It's rebounded by Indiana. You know, sometimes making it difficult for him to finish at the rim is all you can ask for from the defense. Turner with a screen on Curry. Halliburton against Curry. Halliburton kicks to Siaka. Driving to the basket. That doesn't go, and he's 0 of 1 from the field. Warriors trail by three. Here's Wiggins. Good. Nice job down low. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Halliburton passes to Neesmith. It's Turner high post. Pass to Halliburton. Over Curry. Halliburton, that's good. Halliburton's got his second basket. Really good poise from Halliburton there. The shot clock running down, but no rush for him. Great poise. Curry from deep three-point land. Nemhard grabs the board. And he missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check. It was maybe a step out of his range. And always nice to have an inside-out threat like Siakam. I mean, he can have an impact anywhere on the floor. Pass to Green. Wiggins surveying the floor. Passes it to Curry. Thompson sets the pick for Curry. The tray. The basket is good. That's his sixth attempt in his third make. I mean, the range is just unreal. Curry can make even the toughest shots look easy. Nemhard, the pass to Neesmith. Here's Halliburton. From the line, Tremont Green pulls it in. Boy, he's got to be kicking himself for failing to make that shot. That's money. Curry with it. Halliburton picks him up. And the basket by Curry. And the defense has to press up on Curry, or he'll stick those shots. Pacers have gone 5 of 8 from the field, shooting over 62%. Curry against Halliburton. And the layup's good off the glass. Halliburton's got eight. Halliburton has a nice combination of smarts and skill. Makes him a cagey score. Curry on the wing. Covered by Siakam. And it's Wiggins missing. Well, the defense refusing to give up anything easy. Love seeing that kind of intensity. The pass to Neesmith. Now Turner, covered by Wiggins. Outside for Halliburton. That ball. Nice feed that time from Turner. And now a five-point pacer lead. Curry against Halliburton. Pass to Wiggins. Three-pointers off the mark. Indiana's gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Here's Nemhard, guarded by Kerr. Just his first attempt. 
Let's the three fly. A nice shot by Neesmith. Just playing with poise and confidence, and they continue to put points on the board. Well, I like the way they're playing. A very smart first half. Quality shots, not wasting possession. Now here's Green. Scoreless thus far. Kaminga finds Curry. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. The Rico come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Curry against Halliburton. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Ball checked in for Curry. And a change for the Pacers. T.J. McConnell, he's checked in for Halliburton. And so it's Wiggins with it. He'll bring it up for Golden State. Trailing by five. Thompson, high post. That's in for the first basket of the game after three attempts. Boy, you can't expect Paul to miss that assist opportunity. His vision is excellent. Turner with a screen on Thompson. Here's Nemhard. He's covered by Thompson. Siakam inside the three-point line. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. You know what you love seeing from Pascal Siakam is his confidence continuing to grow. And Kevin, especially when it comes to scoring. Pascal understands how valuable he is to his team and how much they lean on him to step up on that end. First free throw is good. Uh, a big man who can score, rebound, and pass. This is why Siakam has become a huge piece of this team. Siakam hits them both. Warriors trail by five. Ball up top. He's covered by McConnell. Ball passes to Thompson. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Thompson's got five points so far. And what a confident player Thompson is. Understands he has the green light to rise and fire off the catch. Now, here's Siakam. Jackson with the screen. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Golden State's gotten a lot of shots off from three-point land in the first quarter, but they're only four of nine. Ball finds Looney. Now here's Thompson. Three-pointer. That's miss number three for him. Now two for five from a four. Siakam against Green. Siakam deciding where to go with it. Pass to McConnell. And here's McDermott beyond the arc. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Green's got four rebounds now tonight. Shoots inside, and good that time. Green's got the game tied up here for the Warriors. And Draymond is smart at knowing when to shoot the ball, especially when he's got strong position inside. Siakam with it. McDermott passes to Jackson. They're running. Here's Green, and it's Green with the jam. A, a team first player. When Thompson notices one of his guys is uncovered, he is willing to get it to him. Now here's McDermott, still scoreless. To stop the run, and so Indiana again turning it over. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. Sharch has checked in for Golden State. Stephen Curry comes in for Clay Thompson. Sharch with the screen for Paul. Here's Looney. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got three assists now in this one. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Now, here's McConnell. Pass to Halliburton. One fifteen left in the first quarter. Kicks it to McDermott. Six on the shot clock. Indiana again missing. Warriors leading by four. And their offense is really clicking right now. 
playing with a lot of energy and really taking it to the defense. Here's Curry with the three. That's the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. And, you know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. Halliburton for three. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. Halliburton, with the answer, was anxious to throw it right back at him. The pass to Looney. This is to Curry. Fires from deep. Hits rebounded by Indiana. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Now, here's McConnell, guarded closely. McDermott for three, and the Pacers another three. The main weapon in McDermott's arsenal, so good at cashing in from behind the arc. Halliburton against Curry. Let's it go with a three. A shot missing. Kevin, you can understand the shot selection. I mean, he wanted to go back at him and just came up short on the triple. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the Golden State Warriors. They kept going to him again and again, and he delivered with a monster quarter. Right back after this break. some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far and a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Warriors they're controlling the pace of this game pushing the ball up court and getting good looks in early offense one other factor today points off turnovers I mean let's see if they can keep up the pressure capitalize off more forced miscues on the court for the Pacers as our second quarter gets underway We'll be topping out there with Jackson. Then it's Albert. It's C.J. McConnell. And it's McDermott in at the small forward. Well, I'll tell you what, his vertical is awesome off the charts. A short center who still makes his presence felt. Ball against McConnell. Outside Curry. This one for three. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got four assists in the game. McConnell kicks to Jackson. Drives to the hoop. And it's good for two. Jackson's got it all tied up now for Indiana. I love how he establishes his post position inside before he converts. Out to Sharch. Shoots the three. It doesn't go for him. Indiana's gone. Five of eight from three-point land. Fifteen points and a deep ball for them tonight. Steps back. Halliburton on the wing. Jackson in the corner. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Pass to Halliburton. McConnell sets a screen for Halliburton. A three-pointer off the mark. And it's Paul with the ball for the Warriors. There's a screen. Right wing. Here's Pajemski. He's covered by McConnell. That's a two from Paul to the right side. Here's Pajemski. Traps in the tray. Pajemski's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. All against McConnell. McDermott sets a screen. Now, here's McConnell. He's covered closely. Here's Toppin. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now, here's Paul. He has yet to score. Outside Curry. Puts up a three. And another three for Golden State. Uh, he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident, too. As a matter of fact, I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is, I mean, he's doing all his work from behind the arc. 
And here's Hellebert after the three-pointer from Stephen Curry. Nice fake there to create the shot, but it's no good. Warriors leading by three. He kicks it to Paul. Back to Curry. Charge a screen on McConnell. Curry can't get it to go. Indiana's gone 6 of 10 from three-point range, up over 50% for the ball game. Halliburton deciding where to go with it. Pass to Toppin. Trying to find Jackson. He's got it now. Halliburton outside. No good on the triple. Warriors have gone 50% from the four in the second quarter. Three of six. Paul passes to Curry. Charge outside. Pass to Pajemski. Good on the triple. Pajemski's got a pair of triples in the second now for the Warriors. When it comes to the essential components of a winning team, GA, how much importance do you place on veteran leadership? Kevin, I think it's important. You want a few guys in the locker room who've seen it all. Players who can keep the ship steady if the team kind of goes awry or, or has a tough stretch. Warriors leading by six. Green by charge. High arcing shot. And the rejection by Jackson. Halliburton against Curry. Here's Halliburton. 14 points for him. Passes to McDermott. Trying to end the drought. That one dropped for his second bucket. Mark him two for four. And you know, it's clear McDermott has practiced this shot thousands of times. Quick trigger. McConnell against Paul. From the low block. The putback. It's good on the putback. And the Warriors lead by five. Good awareness that time to put the shot right back up before the defense can react. Halliburton for three. Warriors with the rebound. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Kevin, thanks. Chris Paul is on the back nine of what will be a Hall of Fame career, but he's not ready to hang it up just yet. He said, I don't know if I can ever retire because the emotional roller coaster that you go on during a game, for real, there's nothing like it. His love of the game has never been in question, Kevin. Back to you. Yeah, you're right, David. Never in question. Hey, thanks for that story. All finds Looney. To the wing right side. Here's Pajemski. Six points for him. And out of bounds as the Pacers gain possession. Here is Halliburton. 14 points for him. Here's Nemhard. Back to Halliburton. Turner with a screen on Paul. Halliburton kicks to Turner. Teardrop shot. Green with the rebound. Green's got five rebounds tonight. Paul against Halliburton. Paul passes to Wiggins. The three. It's the three-point bomb. Wiggins has got five points so far. Out of the pick and roll, Wiggins doing a nice job. Staying poised, causing the defender just enough hesitation where he can make his move. Now, here's Siakam. It's Turner high post. Over green. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And it goes on Draymond Green. And Turner is exceptionally good at getting guys up in the air. He's got a really wicked shot fake, which fools even the best defensive players. The first one falls. 
You know, Greg, one thing you got to admire about Miles Turner is how sensational a shot blocker he is every year among the leaders in the NBA. And, Kevin, such a dependable defensive anchor, someone that just reads shooters well, knows when to go after the block. Thompson, he's checked in for the Warriors. All three throws good from Turner. Clark, here we are looking at Miles Turner, a terrific player. What stands out to you? There are a couple of things. His ability to knock down three-point shots as a big guy, but more than that, his primary attribute to me is the fact he's an outstanding rim protector. Excellent timing, runs the floor, and really protects the basket for his team. Here's Neesmith. Easy jumper from very short distance. He's got five. Al Paul still without a basket. The pass to Green. The dish to Thompson. Shot left block. And oh, what a play. He just palms the block. Now, here's Neesmith, defended by Paul. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Nice job by Halliburton, showing you the toughness that time, going right into that defense and drawing the foul. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. And he was dialed in at the line a season ago, 87% from the line. And guys, if a game was coming down to the wire and an opponent needed to foul, I mean, he was the guy they wanted with the ball in his hands. I mean, shooting the free throws because of his proficiency there. Halliburton hits them both. Halliburton has lots of skills you love to see from a young guard. Boy, I tell you what, he's got a bright future. Love watching this young man play. Now here's Paul. Down low, Turner with the steal. Now here's Neesmith. He's guarded closer. And here is Siakam. Just four to shoot. The shot goes down and it gets this game back to even. Siakam's got six. Boy, once Siakam gets in the lane with that little floater, not much you can do defensively. Ball kicks to Green. And Green slams it in. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. And so here is Indiana. The Warriors making the shot. Siakam outside. And it's in there. Siakam's got four points now in the quarter. And that shot was well contested, but Siakam's just too tricky for it. It puts his skills to work and able to get to the basket. Now here's Green. Six points for him. He dishes it to Wiggins. Back to Green. Paul outside. Thompson a screen on Halliburton. Paul for the three. And there's Thompson. That's good on the assist by Paul. Eight points for him. And just another day at the office for Mr. Thompson. Has one of the best-looking jumpers I've ever seen. So the Pacers call timeout. Their first of the game. And the Warriors making a change here. Curry's checked in. And the Pacers also making a change. McConnell's checked in. So it's the Pacers now. Wiggins outside. Pass to Green. Golden State moving the ball around. Here's Kaminga. Pacers with the rebound. McConnell with it. Hasn't made one yet. Out to the wing. Here's Siakam. And the Pacers can't get it to go. Warriors leading by three. Now here's Curry. He's got 22.
Kaminga sets a screen for Curry. Down to five on the shot clock. Even while being fouled, Curry stays nimble and manages to get his shot off. The Warriors shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. Stephen Curry. Three shots. He sucks. Three. That's good from Stephen Curry. What you have to respect about Curry is that he is never satisfied. He's always fine-tuning his game and working hard to stay as sharp as possible. And he's good on the second. And he makes all three. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. McConnell scanning the floor. Pass to Nemhart. Back to McConnell. Turner with a screen on Paul. To the middle. Green with the block. Green takes great pride in his defense now. He loves the nine shots at the rim and playing bigger than his 6'8 frame would lead you to believe. Now, here's Green. He has six. Wow! Curry automatic from deep. Sensational ball movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. Pacers trail by nine. There's 53 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Siakam, high post. Kaminga on him. Knocked loose. Out to the right wing. A nice shot by Neesmith. Neesmith has got eight points. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. It's three outside. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Siaka misses. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for the Warriors. Six-point game. In the corner, it's Wiggins. Paul outside. He feeds it to Green. Kicks it to Curry. There's the three. The shot misses. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They've done a lot of great work from long range. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Steve. A good rhythm for you in the first half. What do you like most about how your team's competing? Just like the ball movement, you know, the drive and kick. Our guys have played really well together. Uh, just trying to move the ball, get a great shot. We'll see if you can keep the ball flying around as we continue. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Really an incredible game from Stephen Curry. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters. He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively and nothing has slowed him down. In the backcourt, it's Curry and Thompson. Raymond Green is out there with Jonathan Kaminga. And it's Wiggins in at the three spot. That's Steve Kerr's five as we get into the second half. Nice shot by Thompson. And when Thompson gets off a clean jumper, you just expect it to go in. He is that kind of shooter. 
Halliburton on the wing. He's covered by Thompson. The shake. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down to six and the bucket from Halliburton. And for the Warriors, they're shooting it up around 51%. They're getting good looks. Halliburton against Thompson. Curry passes to Thompson. Green with a screen for Thompson. Good! Thompson makes it look so easy. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Turner finds Halliburton. To the wing on the left. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Shot clock at five. McConnell passes to Turner. Shoots over Curry. The shot by Turner, no good. Warriors leading by nine. Passes it to Curry. Now Thompson, all alone. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. We know Curry has tremendous vision, and he uses it to tee up his teammates for easy shots. Siakam outside. Halliburton against Thompson. Halliburton kicks to McConnell. And there's the pass to Siakam. McConnell with it. Flying his luck from deep. And the call will go against Jonathan Kaminga. That'll be his second foul of the game. The Pacers making a switch here. Nemhard's checked in. There's Siakam. He's got eight to the inside. Here's Neesmith. That's good. And it's Halliburton with the assist. Three points. Halliburton's got three assists now in this one. Here's Curry. And he has 28 points for the game. Green, the screen. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Yeah, a magnet for fouls. Wiggins' explosiveness gives him a great advantage against most any defender. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Two shots. And the second free throw, good. A decent free throw shooter is Wiggins, trying to become more than that, though, given how often he gets himself to the line. Pass to Turner. Turner with a screen on Curry. Halliburton passes to Turner. And a missed layup. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. There's Kaminga, and the shot is good. Kaminga's got the lead up to 11 now for the Warriors. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on him. Nemhard's shot is good. The versatility of Halliburton, that's what you love about him. He can score it, he can pass it, and he makes very good decisions. Pass to Kaminga. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. And it's Wiggins with the jam. And really the story of this second half. One team getting the shots they want, the other not so much. And that's why you have such a huge gap in the shooting numbers between the teams. Here's Nemhard. Wants to get it to Turner and does. Halliburton against Curry. Five on the clock. And Turner kicks to Halliburton. That ball. Nice feed that time from Turner. Halliburton's got five points in the quarter. Like the way Halliburton continues to take more responsibility on the offensive end. His game warrants that he does that. Higgins outside. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Wiggins has got 11 points. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now, here is Halliburton. He's got 21. Here's Neesmith. And there are the Pacers with another bucket. Good intelligent basketball on the part of Turner there. Assists like that will make the defense think twice about how they're going to defend him. Halliburton against Curry. 
Dishes it to Kaminga. Green passes to Thompson. Here's Green. They double team Curry. Kaminga with a wide open look. No oh, good with the triple. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Wiggins against Halliburton. He watches it go through the hoop for his eighth make. Now eight for 14. That shot by Halliburton, not easy. Taking the hit and still finishing the play. Kaminga sends a screen for Thompson. Passes it to Curry. They double-team Curry. There's Kaminga, and he comes up with the deuce. And the Warriors lead by eight. You know, I think they took a bit of a chance there going to the double-team, and that left another guy open out there. Siakam outside. It's rebounded by Golden State. They've led by as many as 11 points. Out to Thompson. Takes a three. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Green's got five assists in the game. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thank you, Kevin. Well, of course, the Pacers have a great history. And star point guard Tyrese Halliburton is eager to embrace it. He said, I want to know all the stories of Pacers players of the past. I want to know more about Ron Artest and everybody who played for this organization. I'm being where my feet are. I love being here in Indy. Kevin? Oh, I'd love to hear that. He could be that next Pacers great player. David, thanks. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Real, really good job of working the interior. You got to work it. You got to work it a bit. Wiggins attacking is able to draw the foul. All right, well, look at how the points have been generated so far. Scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Well, I've been impressed with the ball movement all game long. They're really looking to just make that extra pass. They've also found a lot of shots at the arc in this one and allowing their good shooters to tee it up. No good on that one. Chris Paul's checked in for the Warriors. Doug McDermott, he's checked in for the Pacers. Good on the second free throw. And it's the Pacers with the ball. Trailing by 10. Ball against Halliburton. Let's the three fly. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Green's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Ball against Halliburton. The shot's good from Paul. Good job executing in tight. Ball doesn't fear anybody when he's in attack mode. Paul against Halliburton. Right side Turner. Indiana moving it around. There's the pass to Siakam. Halliburton inside the three-point line. With nobody on him, he buries the jumper. Halliburton's got 25 points in the game. Paul. Higgins outside. Thompson a screen on Hellebert. Paul against Hellebert. And Paul gets it to go in. Paul's got the lead up to 12 now for the Warriors. Indiana's gone three of five with the long ball since entering the second half. Has to turn it. Now here is Hellebert. Pass to Nemo. Offline with his three. And so it's Paul with it, hanging it up for Golden State. The 12 point lead, their biggest of the game. Passes it to Thompson. Shoots. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. And here's Halliburton. 25 points in the game. Turner with a screen for Halliburton. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Halliburton's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for Indiana. 
And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. Kevon Looney is checked in for Draymond Green. The Pacers also with a sub. Jackson, he's checked in for Miles Turner. Now here's Wiggins. He's got 12. Paul outside. Missile blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Chris Paul so good at working for his point. Even if the defense is on his back, challenging him, he still finds a way to finish. At the line for the Dubs, Chris Paul. One shot. Pacers trail by 12. Here's Nemhard. Halliburton with it. From the arc. A shot by Nemhard. No good. Thompson looking for an opening. They set the pick. Wiggins passes to Looney. Paul outside. Six to shoot. Launches a three. Up again. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. There you go. Relentless pursuit of the ball. I love it. He never stopped working. Halliburton outside. Jackson setting the pick here for Halliburton. And Jackson throws it down hard. What a pass by Halliburton. He's so comfortable running the screen and roll. Excellent. Halliburton against Paul. Thompson outside. Puts up a deep three. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got assist number eight here in this one already. Pacers trail by 15. 151 left here in the third quarter. Halliburton is double. There's Jackson with the three. And it's Clay Thompson with the rebound. Golden State's gone four or six from three-point land since the start of the second half. Inside. Here's Paul. Wiggins finds Thompson. To the left wing. Here's Kaminga. And another three for Golden State. Gets the shot he wants. The defense wasn't quite connected enough. They lost contact. The Pacers shooting has been great up over 50%. In fact, 52%. Halliburton against Paul. And it's Halliburton penetrating. Nice shot by McDermott. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Now, here's Looney. Six points for him. And the pass to Kaminga. There's 48 seconds left in the third. Here's Thompson. No good. Shot missing. Excellent defense there from Halliburton. to McDermott from downtown drills it from outside McDermott's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for the Pacers Halliburton against Paul five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock a three pointer Wiggins Siakam pulls it in Siakam's got his fifth rebound in this one the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's the Golden State Warriors enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. They've had such great ball movement and shot selection, and it's led to a terrific field goal percentage. And we'll be right back after this. And 
let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. On the court for Indiana. McDermott is out there with Obi Toppin. Then it's Isaiah Jackson. Then there's Tyrese Halliburton. And it's McConnell in at the one. And here's Jackson after the three-pointer from Stephen Curry. And it's Halliburton missing. Warriors leading by 15. Pass to Pajemski. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to be on Doug McDermott. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. free throw missing and he sinks the second And Halliburton's got the ball here for the Pacers. Passes to McConnell. Tapping a screen on Paul. McConnell, and that one, good. And we played through about a minute here in the fourth. Warriors leading by 14. Paul dishes to Curry. Charge a screen on Halliburton. The pass to Looney. Out to Sharch. Ball outside. Just five to shoot. Over McConnell. And it's Paul missing. Well, I like the defense there. Right up in his grill. Didn't give him a chance. Pass to McDermott. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Halliburton outside. Halliburton is double. And the wide open shot from McConnell. That falls. Nice feed that time from Halliburton. Halliburton's got his eighth assist in the game. McConnell against Paul. Outside Curry. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Pacers trail by 11. Halliburton finds Jackson. Bounce pass from McConnell. Indiana moving it around. Beyond the arc. Toppin good. Well, they left it until the fourth quarter, but finally the run they needed to get back into this. One. I didn't think it was going to happen for them, quite honestly, but they finally turned it on, turned it up a little bit. Now they've got to come up with some stops. And here is Paul. After Obi Toppin was able to get the triple. Here's Curry. Pass to Pajemski. And he's good on the three ball. But Jemski's got four points in the quarter. He's just stretching them out. The defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. Yeah, especially with the score being what it is. I mean, you've got to tighten it up on D. McDermott for three. Warriors with the rebound. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. It looks easy, effortless. Curry natural from long range. And here's McConnell after the three-pointer from Stephen Curry. Pass to McDermott from deep. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Looney's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Ball up top. He's covered by McConnell. Outside Curry. Here's Looney, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Second team foul. At the line for the Dubs, 
The first free throw is good. He doesn't get the second one. And that one is stuffed right through. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Yeah, offensively, they've just been rolling. Impossible to stop. The pass to Smith. Back to McConnell. Smith trying to break loose. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Hey, Greg, we love watching T.J. McConnell on the forts. It's like watching a guard from a couple decades ago. Man, and Kevin, this guy's just an old-school point guard. His focus is on defense and passing, and great at both of those as an undersized guard in today's NBA. And both free throws, good for McConnell. Warriors leading by 15. Now here's Paul. Outside Curry. They double team Curry. Here's Pajemski. Top and covering. Shot clock at six. Here's Looney. Off with the layup. Pacers trail by 15. Here's McConnell. That one off the back iron and out. Golden State's gone three or four from downtown here in the fourth. Back to Paul. Outside Curry. Fires the three. And again for three. Buries his tenth triple of the game. Unbelievable. And the Pacers call time here. Indiana's gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Andrew to Toppin. Here's Nemhard. Toppin a screen on Wiggins. Back to Toppin. McConnell in the corner. Just three to shoot over Curry. And McConnell gets it to go. McConnell's got nine points now in just the second half. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for Golden State. Higgins outside. Good, and Curry gets the assist. 14 points for Andrew Wiggins. Adding layers to his game over time. The more Wiggins looks to score inside, the more versatile he'll become. Smith sets the pick for Halliburton. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. What a play there, the hoop plus the harm. Yeah, great concentration there. Hung in there, he didn't let that contact throw him off at all. Stayed focused on the rim, knew he was going to get hit, and still was able to finish. Looking at who's out there now for the Pacers. Turner's checked in for Jalen Smith. Pascal Siakam comes in for Toppin. And McDermott subbed in for T.J. McConnell. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Yep, the next one puts them on the line, so they've got to be careful the rest of the way. Wiggins passes to Curry. They double-team Curry. Here's Kaminga. And another three for Golden State. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. Well, you know, that's exactly their plan here in the fourth. Work to find space behind the arc and then bury some threes. Here's Nemhard. Some nice passing here by Indiana. And a wide open look for Siakam. And once again off the mark by Indiana. On offense, here are the Warriors. They're on a 17-7 run. Curry outside. It's rebounded by Indiana. Turner's got six rebounds in the game. Halliburton outside. Pass to Siakam. He kicks to Turner. And here's McDermott, covered by Wiggins. Back to McDermott. Just five on the clock. That's good. It's Halliburton with the assist. McDermott does a solid job scoring close to the basket at six foot eight. His size allows him to capitalize from there. Curry passes to Wiggins. Green dishes to Curry. Three pointer. 
And that's good. Draymond Green for three. And the Warriors lead by 19. And great offensive instincts from Green. Goes into the shot the moment he catches the ball. Halliburton passes to Siakam. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. He's got space. And the Warriors tack on two more. Off a of pass, Steph Curry. That one is always going in, or almost always going in. Halliburton outside. Turner with a screen on Curry. Halliburton for three. It's rebounded by Kaminga. Warriors leading by 21. Outside Curry. Passes it to Thompson. A three ball. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Here's Nemhard. Back to Halliburton. And there's the pass to Nemhard. Launches it. And the shot goes in from Siakam. And yeah, you got to get out on that. Siakam demonstrating that ability to hurt you from beyond. Thompson outside. Outside Curry. Over in the corner, Kaminga. Back to Wiggins. Let's it go from deep. The rebound by Turner. You know, defensively, you just can't afford to give him that much room. They're fortunate that he missed that one. Pass to McDermott. Here's Nemhard. He's covered by Thompson. Halliburton outside. Here's Nemhard. That falls. Nice feed that time from Halliburton. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. Curry against Halliburton. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Stolen by Thompson. To the paint. Turner with the steal. Now here's McDermott. He's covered by Thompson. Siakam passes to Halliburton. Here's Nemhard. Back to Halliburton. Halliburton is double. And it's slammed in by Turner. Oh, you can't let Turner get that deep inside. When you do, he's going to abuse you with a throwdown right on top of your head. And there's the foul. It'll go on Tyrese Halliburton. And that'll be his third foul so far. And then you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Those are always tough to judge, but I think the official got that one right. Neesmith, he's checked in for Doug McDermott. Now, here's Thompson. Now a timeout called by Golden State. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Hey, guys. I was able to catch the message Steve Kerr gave to his team. He told his players, I love the energy right now. You look like you're having fun out there. Keep playing for each other because our chemistry looks great right now. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Here's Nemhard. He's covered by Thompson. Here's Halliburton. That ball. Nice feed that time from Turner. Turner's got four assists in the game. 149 left in the fourth quarter. Curry deciding where to go with it. The shot's good. Curry's got 41. Huge night for Curry in a great rhythm thus far. That's always bad news for the team he's facing. Halliburton passes to Neesmith. Here's the three. Warriors with the rebound. Green's got his eighth rebound here tonight. And guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them 
huge margin of victory for the Warriors. What an effort in the transition game we've seen tonight from these guys. Really pushed the ball, and I think in, in doing so, created a lot of pressure on the defense. Yeah, I definitely had a huge edge, and this is their DNA. When they run the ball and dictate the flow of the offense like we've seen here, these are the kinds of games they can have. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Stephen Curry. There wasn't much they could do to slow him down as he was converting every good chance he got. A three-pointer is right on target. And that's not an easy shot for a big. Siakam showing his comfort level from anywhere. Thompson outside. Pass to Wiggins. Out to Thompson. Back to Wiggins. Fires for three. And it's Kaminga that time on the assist by Wiggins. And the Warriors lead by 16. Siakam outside. Over Green. Siakam's shot is off. And they are really racking up the assists in this one. And their team chemistry is evident. These guys enjoy playing with one another. Now Thompson. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much. Draymond, one of the cliches of basketball is that the ball finds energy. When teammates are making shots, does that give you more energy? Oh, uh, yeah, it does. You know, when we're in the flow, the ball is just moving around. It allows me to play make, and, you know, then I just try to find an open gap and take the shots where they are. Man, it was really flowing tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Much appreciated, David. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. As we leave you with our New Balance Play.